Industry 4.0 term came into common use in Kazakhstan in 2017 when the head of state announced the need to digitize the industry. Automation of production is an inevitable process at each industrial enterprise. Eventually, they come to the realization that harmful, heavy or simply complicated manual labor can be replaced by artificial intelligence. The basic principle of Industry 4.0 is the symbiosis of machines and human, the use of cyber-physical systems in production. For this, the algorithms of neural networks are used, which appeared in the 80s of the last century but could not be used as effectively as now due to insufficient computing power. What is the neural network? It is a trained algorithm on historical data. When we add to this the knowledge of a person, an expert on the process, we get a management accuracy of about 95%. That is, the data of an international consulting firm. The accuracy of machines is 80% when managing a process, the accuracy of a person can be up to 70%. But a person also depends on experience, service record and his mood varies. Moreover, when you combine a person and a machine, you get 95% of accuracy. Despite the efforts of the state and business to separate from the raw materials economy, the mining sector still remains the basis of Kazakhstan. These are companies competing on a global level with complex business processes. They existed on the territory of the country before independence. Nevertheless, it was these enterprises that turned out to be the best prepared for the fourth industrial revolution and the introduction of digital control principles. It can be said that today mining enterprises are more ready for digitalization than, let us say, manufacturing enterprises. Today we already see that, for example, six of our systemic companies, ERG, Axelor, Kazink, Kazakh Miss and others are already implementing 14 projects until 2025. And we expect that these projects will provide an economic effect of about 240 billion tenge to gross value added. It was necessary to begin the work on digitalization of industry with a collection of information and analysis of the current situation. Therefore, representatives of the Kazakh Institute for the Development of Industry, together with the German Institute of Fraunhofer, studied more than 600 Kazakh enterprises. The results of this work showed that more than half of mining companies are at the level of semi-automated production. Seven of them became model factories where smart mines are created now using geolocation and other digital solutions. Until the end of the year, it is planned to implement the project of Ustkaminogorsk titanium and magnesium combine according to Balance's exchange arrangement. I would like to know that the technology supplier is a domestic enterprise. It is an Institute of Engineering and Information Technologies of Kazakh British Technical University. That is, domestic suppliers are involved in this process. One of these domestic developers is the Technological Development Laboratory, created on the basis of Innovative Technology Park together with British colleagues. Here they are engaged in creation and implementation of information technologies at the mining enterprises of Kazakhstan. Laboratory algorithms are based on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Big data is collected directly from production, sensors, laboratory systems, manual input, in order to build a digital process model first. That is, this is a kind of digital equipment twins and digital models of how the process takes place. Based on this, we can predict further what will happen to the process. Based on the forecast, which gives a neural network, for example, we can make recommendations to the operator in real time. Here is the operator's screen, which displays the main indicators of crushing process, that is, the time of material passage, the percentage of balls loading. You can also see the red line on the lower screen, it is what we predict 10 minutes ahead. And the blue one is already indicators which happen in reality. We get real-time data from sensors, transfer it to the cloud, process it and send the results back. 
обрабатываем их и, и отправляем результаты обратно. The speed and efficiency of the introduction of such technologies depend on the level of technical equipment of the enterprise, the availability of the necessary sensors, IT infrastructure or even communications and internet at the mines determines how quickly it will be possible to combine all the data and use them to improve production processes. With the help of many of achievements in the same machine vision, many tasks can be solved in the context of safety. For example, and occupational safety can be solved in cheaper ways than this could have been done before. These data are delivered from gold deposits in Jambil and Karagana regions, where one of the largest Kazakh enterprises manufactures a mining. Digital Mine Pilot Project was launched here in conjunction with government agencies. The gold mining giant uses cloud decisions for business process management that are developed and supported by experts in Almaty. According to Digital Mine Project, the system architecture is built today. There is an understanding of which vendors, systems and for what purposes we will use throughout the entire cycle of business processes of the company, beginning with geology, open and underground mining, dispatch to integration platform through which we will receive financial reports, financial data of ERP system. Within the framework of this project it is planned to build change management schemes, that is, mind control of people so that people will be restructured correctly and we will teach them to work with data. The result of this work should be a reduction in production costs by at least 15 to 20 percent, an increase in labor productivity and most importantly the safety of the employees. In addition, the plans of Technological Development Laboratory include the introduction of Industry 4.0 platform and other industries, as well as the involvement of domestic developers to create startups based on the platform already created. In Kazakhstan, 80% of GDP is engineering, energy, logistics, mining and metallurgical complex, and oil and gas. Therefore, here is the platform that we use to optimize processes in mining and metallurgical complex. We want to make it available for Kazakh developers and startups, but also for end customers in the industry, in order to get the effects of digitalization. Then everyone will be the winner. IT specialists will receive new tasks and enterprises will be able to quickly adopt the principles of innovative management. Artificial intelligence allows solving many problems using less expensive methods, so they are a profitable investment item. Return on investment is good. For example, we try to optimize the processes that give a return on investment during the year, that is, up to 12 months. If we're talking about a more comprehensive project, with the introduction of hardware and software, then the effects can stretch by two, three years there. But it also depends on investor, enterprise, management of the enterprise and what horizons they look at. One of the leaders in the introduction of digital technologies is a domestic enterprise of mining and metallurgical complex. Here all working processes, from ore mining to concentrate production, are automated to different extents. I can tell you with confidence that the human factor is excluded here by almost 90%. If we go to the processing complex, we will not see almost anyone because all management takes place in display console where the operator is working. If we look into the query pod, we will see that the drilling rigs bore out, drive the drilling blocks. That is, all is controlled by satellite navigation. Up to 100,000 tons of ore is mined in this quarry per day. Each material must be classified and delivered according to its destination. For this, geolocation data are used. Per day, 21 dump trucks make 1,800 travels. This is a very large amount. That is, if earlier people had to record every travel and there was no such system and the human factor occurred, one to two travels went to the wrong destination. The number of incorrect travels could increase to 10,000 per year. 
Now we do not have such a problem because Leica system automatically determines the type of material, destination, whether it is some kind of ore stockpile or a sulfide or clay factory. This system includes not only the ore classification but also the automation of drilling and blasting schedule, the distribution and route of mining equipment. Monitoring is also carried out at subsequent stages. Our main conveyor is completely equipped with sensors of belt drift. Emergency cables, break of the belt are displayed here in my computer. I can see where the belt drift has occurred or even emergency cables pulled. The use of automatic control made it possible to increase the productivity of the quarry by 20%. All production processes are monitored from this room. It is the main control console where data from all sensors and information from all operators flow. At the construction stage of our facility, for about two years our management system was created by automation engineers, which you can see on the screens here. From here you can manage all the technological processes, starting from supplying the factory with water, which comes from Shidir T village, which is about 100 kilometers from the factory. That is, we can manage the pumps remotely and ending with a final process, which is a concentrated filtration of our final product. Automated control systems cover a variety of manufacturing processes. Work is currently underway to introduce another digital tool for managing and storing data. A more advanced version of automatic control will allow maximizing the use of all information collected from the queries and workshop premises. For example, DCS stores data no more than 30 days. Well, it depends on the information. PL Vision stores the data from the moment of installation and as long as we exist here. It will store all necessary information and it is convenient for those cases when we need to establish the cause, for example, idle time or loss of processing. We can always use the graphic charts far in history that is not available in DCS system. In order to entrust such complex processes to machines, it is necessary to make sure that even in the event of unforeseen circumstances, the production will not stop and the information will not disappear. Therefore, much attention was paid to infrastructure during construction. All automation systems operate based on their own server and for additional security, the data is copied into two storages. We have optical lines of communication around the site, five fold tolerant loops at each important node, where there are some user computers or controllers to which the factory equipment, some transformers, automatic valves are connected which are controlled by operators. There is IT infrastructure everywhere. Contrary to fears, using artificial intelligence and automating of work processes will not affect the number of jobs, experts say. Only the methods of work will change from manual to machine. This means that representatives of working professions will have to acquire basic knowledge in IT, but even without these competencies, it is possible to successfully implement automation in production. However, the efficiency of enterprises due to such technologies increases several times. Digital solutions make it possible to increase the complexity of operations, in other words, to go deeper underground, and significantly increase the economic efficiency of ore mining, with a particularly low metal content. That is, all digital solutions increase the efficiency of our mining companies. All over the globe, digitalization of industry has been recognized as a global and inevitable process, the introduction of which is not a trend, but a necessity. Solutions in the field of digital technologies are most attractive for the mining and metallurgical complex since they can be implemented at any stage of production. The main thing is to train the staff to use these tools designed to ease their hard work and increase its efficiency. For example, thanks to automated processes, smart career system will allow 
allow drilling machines to be displayed with an accuracy of up to 2 centimeters. This decision is planned to be used next year at Kachar Quarry in Kostanai region. Moreover, already in 2023, an innovative ore processing factory will start operating there.